What's going on, everybody? Could you here with entry number 81, I believe, of the Minecraft Journal series? How's everybody doing today? This looks like a good spot right here. Hope everybody's having an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining in again today. We, uh, as I said last time, I actually finished up the gold farm. We had some issues with the internet. The Some sort of cable broke somewhere and it put out all of our internet in like five or six different cities. So they got it work. They got working on it pretty quickly, but it still took them about eight hours. So instead of streaming the other night, I spent the time. I just finished up the gold farm. We'll get over there here in just a little bit. But we're going to start off today, as said in the last one, with a ice farm. And a snow farm. Because, why not? Oh, can't do anything in here. I think that right up here will be just fine. I figured as long as we are up above a certain level, it will all freeze. And this keeps me from having to go to the Christmas village over and over and over. So right up here, I think, will be a pretty pretty safe bet on a good place to put it. I think in, right in this area will do just fine. So uh, let me clear some of this out, grab some of this snow because we're going to need that as well, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, we're back and the farm's pretty much completely done. Both of them. <laughs> I know. I did it off camera, it's super easy. Square blocks, any length you want it to be. And then from corner to corner have blocks up here to keep, the, uh, keep it from freezing. Then you just go through and break all these, and these right here will replace the water. Super simple, super easy. We'll go through real quick. We'll do this side. Recommend using wood on those. Didn't think about it until after I was done. But, uh, I'm okay with this. There we go. Probably should, but not going to. Oh, well. You see how easy it is. And onto the snow farm. We need you. 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 Oh, come on. There, there, there we go. Boom. 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 Hopefully this works. Hey, it worked. And we've got ourselves a snow golem farm. We stand right here and collect snow. So, with that being done. Let's move on with the main project for the day. We've got our snowballs, we got our uh, ice farm out of the way. It's about to be nighttime. Let's start packing up shop real quick. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need, actually I want one of those right there. Uh, there we go. And we're good. Pack up shop. Oh, by the way, something I forgot to mention is I cleaned out all my chests. I had time. I left potions in that one, and this is for our next project. Since I had time, I, I got that done. I'm happy. I cleaned. I'm just going to leave that crafting table here, in case I need uh, to make snow for some odd reason. So let's move on. I ain't getting in there this time. Oh, well. Let's move on. Run on over to the... where we will be uh, working. I think y'all will be pretty happy with the progress. There's still one slight problem with the gold farm. And, uh, that would be that it's, it has issues keeping up. I'll have more... Or they, they won't stay aggro, I guess. Oh, come on. Come on, now. Well, we made it up this far. Almost there. I tunneled our way all the way up. There we go. Almost. So, like I said, we finished this up. Got all three layers of it done. I put glass in the middle, that way the, uh, these up here wouldn't maybe run off and fall on top of the track or something. Just to be safe. And I fell. Got these little areas. I probably should. Ugh, there we go. <clears throat> I should probably make an actual way up here instead of having to rely on rockets and stuff. But where's the fun in that? 
So we'll bring a snowball, which I don't actually have, so I'm just going to shoot one of these guys instead. Oh, they're all mad. I got my sounds off for this. And now I go back and forth, just like last time, and they attack. I've got three different sets, uh, or six different sets. Well, I guess technically three sets on each side. Uh, of six, I've got six positive uh, zombie pigment. There we go. Words. Words are hard. We've got six zombie pigment laid out through here. That way they stay aggro on me. But it still doesn't seem to want to work too awfully well. When all of these guys... Um, die, the next ones that spawn in might be aggro, they might not, and it's, it's a little weird. It's, I've had some issues with it. I probably need to move the farm on up is the biggest thing, and I'm not really wanting to do that anytime soon. So, uh, yeah. I don't think anything's going to be spawning down below, but you never know. So, like, you, like, you, like I said, it's we got that guy. Is that guy going to be mad at me? See, he's not mad at me. You mad, bro? No? No. So, that's the issue. Keeping these guys mad. And I don't know what to do about that. If y'all know, uh, be sure to let me know down in the, uh, the, the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But overall, it works pretty good pretty decent XP farm if you want to take the time to uh, come down here every before every five minutes and collect and yeah plenty of gold I say plenty of gold a lot more than the last farm produced so I'm happy with it for right now one of these days we might make uh, Exuma's donut or one of the really big efficient ones one of those I really don't want to do too, nothing too massive because I don't know how much more my computer could handle. But at the same time, I'm sure I could uh, beef it up a little bit. But let me see. Let me just get what we got from right here. So we'll get rid of all the swords and the rotten flesh. Got one ingot and 33 nuggets. So, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not the best, but again, it'll get the job done. But on to the next project, as soon as I know where we're at over here. We've got this area, which this right here can actually be filled back in. I just need this right here, this 3x3 three three area. And we are going to mail ourselves an elevator, a minecart elevator, all the way up to the top here. And then uh, we are also going to put a a uh, collection system down at the bottom of this thing. Instead of doing hoppers, I think I'll do the minecarts again. I'll turn the minecarts on and off as I uh, when I leave and stuff. That way they travel back and forth, collect the items, and yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. I like that idea. So uh, again, give me just a few minutes. Let me get some stuff together, and I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, I got a little more work done. I got our actual uh, pillar, I guess you'd call it built all the way up and all the stuff we need here we got everything going uh, but you know I figured this is this I could use some help on this one I could use some help on this one now I know what you're thinking this is a single player world this is a single player world and you can't have other people on here it's not single player anymore but let me introduce you all to Kuya Cam who I have brought out into the open for the first time yeah, he, he's really boring. I need a, I need to get a good skin for Kuya Cam. And, uh, yeah. But he's going to be up here. I have gave him all the iron. I brought five stacks of iron ingots to... He's got all of it. To make, uh... What you calls it out of? Minecarts. And he will be pushing these down for us. And while he's doing that... Let me grab this. Don't need that. Let me grab my food back down here. Because I will need that after this fall. Maybe not. There we go. Nice and smooth. Which I need to... Let's just do that for now. So... This is where we're actually going to come up to. This is where the whole thing's going to actually begin. I'll create a little hole over here with a ladder coming up. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and knock out these real quick. Because this, this whole thing's going to be redone. That might even end up being the next... 
uh, words. Words are hard. That may end up actually being the next chapter, is actually working on the Nether Kingdom. Just this evil, horrible place. But uh, I'm going to place a sign. And then Kuyakam up here, which you all can't see, is going to push a minecart down. Which just got really complicated. So, with uh, the with the testing out of the way, you got to figure out how to do this. Hmm. I guess the best way to do it is this right here. We're going to pillar all the way up. This is going to be quite tedious, but if it gets the job done, that's all that matters, right? So, I went with the red nether brick and the black nether brick, or the regular nether brick. Just to kind of change it up a little bit, a little bit. give it that evil kind of feel to it. And that's what the nether kingdom's going to be. It's going to be quite evil. Quite evil indeed. Up, give me some more. Um, there we go. Uh, down. And, may as well grab one more rail. Boom. So, go you can. Do your job. You know if I was smart, I would, uh, I'll just enter pearl down. Who's smart? That works. Alright. So now, what we'll do is let Kuyakam push. It should fall straight on down here. And it went right past our sign. So what if I come up a few more? so that there's no gap there. We'll try again. And... That's still not working. Okay guys, so it's got too much speed. Give me just a few minutes, we're gonna have to figure out how to do this and uh, I'll be right back with ya. Alright guys, figured it out. I was pretty well derping again. You got to use ladders, not signs. Not sure what I was thinking about, but these work just fine. Two. Let's go one more. Let's go one more up. Feel better that way. You come up a couple and place a sign. And then you Cam, who was not doing his job. There we go. Pushes one off. It comes flying down, and boom. Two, three, four. Let's go up four. Two, three. Place a sign. Four. And then Kuyakam does it again. There we go. This is so much easier with help. And there we go. Kuyakam places a thing and it goes. So uh, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit. Give me just a little while and we will uh, we'll get some, get th hopefully get this completely done and moving on with the next project. Alrighty guys, with this project done and uh, we went ahead and added in this little deal right here. Let me, oh, come on, go down. May end up having to uh, also add a, a drop shoot make this easier but a lot of times when you come up it's hard to get out so this just makes it a little bit easier but now with this project done let's move on over here to our main project of the day and that is our item collector we're going to have an item sorting system set up right here the same one we've always done or we've been doing <coughs> since I can make a lot of these we want one side to be ingots one side to be nuggets and everything else can go into a lava, a lava source somewhere get rid of it we don't need the swords of the zombie flesh so well, that being said, let's jump straight into things, grab my, my scaffolding here. And we're going to want a block there with a comparator. 
and boom. Is that going into that? I believe. Then we want this coming out like so. There we go. Knock that block out. And there. Get the get the groundwork done out of our way. While we're here, throw down our repeater and our dust. Boom. And the torch, we're done. And it, it amazes me, guys. It really does. I do this. And let's uh, toss those up here. There we go. I do this. I don't know how many times I've built this same system, and every single time I tend to forget how it's done. It, it really is amazing to me. But that's okay. So let's head over here, grab some blocks, and do the same thing. Knock this one out. Like so. We can knock these out, don't need them. There's that. There's that. And all that's left. Throw our comparator down. Make sure that's into that. It is. Perfect. And we only got one gold ingot earlier, so it doesn't do us a whole lot of good yet, but it will. It will. Now we get to set up the rest of our platform. And uh, that shouldn't be too too difficult. Knock out this scaffolding. Knock out this scaffolding. And yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So let me see here. Let me get a little thought put into this part. We're gonna want these here. Like so. Well, not like so. Let me grab these real quick. Doesn't do me much good. Like that. And, yeah, I think this... Hmm. Decisions, decisions, guys. Decisions, decisions. Let's go this way with it, I think. Yeah, I like this. I don't know why, but this is the way I, I like there we go and then we will have the lava thing over here out of the way but for now we need to add a few more hoppers I believe we need three yep like that just like that we need this to come out a couple I know this doesn't look like I'm doing much, but uh, give me a second. It's it's all in my head, which is a very dangerous place to be. Very dangerous place to be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I'm not mistaken, three on each. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, counting. Counting is a thing. There we go. We need seven right here. We're going to need some full blocks up here. Grab a few more of those. Seven. There we go. And last but not least, we are going to need blocks underneath these. And uh, hopefully this is starting to, to uh, come together. Maybe you can see it. Make a few more of these real quick. Alright. And now we'll have our powered rails coming over on top of these. It'll drop everything off, which will circle around, go through the system, and then over here on this side is where all the extra stuff. So now we just need to make this platform run the entire length of this. I took it out one extra block just on each side and in the middle here, just to be safe. Just so we know that they fall. The, uh, the minecarts will run up, 
hit, run back. So, I believe this should be the perfect line, which is a good thing, because I wasn't thinking about that before. Uh, is it east to west, or north to south, whichever way where the, the rails will line up perfect and then come back, because if they weren't, it was going to be a major pain in the patootie, getting them aligned the right way. So, this thing, whole thing worked out pretty good. So, give me just a minute, let me get this line in, and, uh, get the rails put on top of it, and you know, I can't think of a better way of doing it than with a third person time lapse. What's going on guys? Welcome to the first story time with Kuya. I'm looking forward to today's. I thought I'd start off today with something a little, what I consider interesting. I don't know if y'all will or not, but uh, one, of my, one of the times I was in the Philippines, I was out uh, helping the church out. I was with a group, and what, some of the Filipinos were walking down the road with us, and they saw a balut sand. And they tried their best to get us to eat it. Now, I finally broke down and said, I'll eat it if one of the girls that was with us eats it. Thinking, hey, she's a girly girl. She's not going to eat this. It's disgusting. She said, okay. I said, wait, what? Now, for those of you who do not know what Balut is, I'm going to put a picture on the screen and uh, show you. The actual definition from Wikipedia is uh, usually a duck or chicken that is boiled and eaten from the shell. It, it's basically a developing chicken or duck still in the shell and they would let it get partially developed, partially grown and you get to choose different days. I think ours was 17 days so it was about halfway, a little over halfway done developing. Didn't have feathers or anything. The bones had just started to develop and a lot of times they would bury them in the ground and let them cook. Let them cook in the ground because it's always hot there. Always hot. And it's amazing. We. We, they gave us one, 17 days, cracked it open, you suck the juice out of the egg first, and it tasted nothing, nothing else than chicken broth. Then you peel the egg and you eat whatever's left, and you can see kind of the picture there. And all it tasted like was a boiled egg, that was it. Nothing more, nothing less. I sat in there thinking, you know, it, it looks disgusting. And a lot of people would never even attempt this. But I'm glad I tried it, I'm glad I tried it. it allowed me to try something new, something that isn't in my comfort zone, that's out of my comfort zone, something that other people wouldn't do, and I, I think it's really good. I enjoyed it. That thing is sick. It's, it's considered a delicacy type of thing there, and I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. It was good. And now I get to look back and say, hey, look what I did. Look what I got to try, and never would have got that opportunity had I not done it there. So, that's the first story time with you. And we're back couple things about the time lapse. One, you noticed I switched over and started using hoppers because apparently we don't have it oriented the right way. It is east to west. I need to keep that in mind next time I build something like this. So uh, I had to switch over and had to come back to hoppers and I had to end up having to stop the time lapse early because I didn't have anywhere remotely close to enough hoppers. So to fix that we uh, we went and we made more hoppers. I mean, that's all all I could do. So get a little organized here, and we made a lot of hoppers. I love having an iron farm, and the tree farm really helped as well. It, it played a big role in this. It, it took me I probably spent 15 minutes doing nothing but gathering uh, trees, growing the big spruce ones. It wasn't too bad, but still. That's that's a lot of time just to chop down trees, but that's all right. So, hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse chat again. If all went well, there was a time lapse chat, and uh, I really like the thought of having the the time lapse stories, the Kuya stories, story time with Kuya. I don't know what, what y'all think of a name to call it, but uh, I've got all kinds of little stories where I've been places and done things and just all kinds of little fun things, and I don't have any other way of uh, talking about them except through the time lapses for the most part. So I, I thought it would be kind of cool. thought it would be kind of cool. So let me get this finished up real quick guys. It's going to take me, it's going to take a little while, a little bit of time to uh, finish this thing up. That's a lot of hoppers. That is a whole lot of hoppers. So I'm going to get it finished and I will be back here in just a few minutes. And we are done. 
That is way too many hoppers. Had a few stacks left over. I miscounted, but I'm perfectly okay with that. That does not hurt my feelings in the least. So now, our only thing is, I guess we need to test this. Still need to figure out a way to, uh, still need to find a way to m make sure this thing is more efficient somehow. Turn this on. We need them to stay aggro, even the, even when the next group comes in. I don't know how to do that. I don't know if it's because the spawn rate is low. I don't know if I'm too low and things are spawning down below. Uh, just so many things I'm not sure about. That would really come in handy. So let's see here. These guys are doing pretty good. As long as there's, looks like as long as one of them chase me. Any more that spawn in. Oh. He may have fell too soon. Like these guys. Why are they... N okay, there we go. There we go. Do they just lose aggro after a couple of minutes anyway? I, th I think it's... I thought it was like five every five minutes they'd lose aggro. This seems to be working. Seems to be working pretty well. These guys are mad. You mad, bro? So far, so good. Let's let a few more spawn in. That's going to be the real test. See, he doesn't look aggro at me anymore. I can't tell if he, they're aggro or not. Does... maybe? Yeah, I guess they're still aggro. Really hard to tell. Really hard to tell. But overall, I think it's working pretty good. I think it's doing all right at least. Until now, because that guy's definitely not aggro. Hmm. I'm thinking what I might do. I want to try something. Let me get out real quick. I want to attempt something. Okay, I think if we put like a, uh, I don't know if this will work, just going to test it. It should work with these guys, but for some reason it's not. I'm going to move one of these guys to the back wall, and I'm going to wall it off so he can run all the way back and forth, and maybe that will keep him aggro, and the rest will also be aggro. So let me try that real quick. I just want to test and see if it will work. Let's see, who are you? Who are you? You're Francis. Let's let's go with uh, Fred. Let's go with Fred. Let's go grab me some more blocks and try it. So uh, guys, give me just a few minutes and I'll be right back with you. Well, I think we found our solution. I think this is going to do it. I like it. I like it a lot. They get mad. They keep running. And it's going to work. So I'm going to leave the two on the sides like they are. And then I'm going to release this guy in the middle over on the side of uh, over on that side and that should keep everybody nice and angry so one last trek through here real quick oh yeah it's working quite nicely don't know why these guys couldn't do that not a clue but oh well and y'all can see just how well this works look at this all the XP, a little bit of the XP falls off, it looks like, but that's okay. I'm it's really not meant for the XP farm. That's just kind of an added bonus. But we grab all of our XP. Now, it doesn't look like any of the other stuff has fallen. A little bit of rotten flesh right there, but that doesn't matter. And I went ahead while we were at it and hooked up our disposal system over here. It should be getting rid of everything else. There's our gold ingots. Doesn't, doesn't look like we got any gold nuggets yet, which I didn't figure we would. Uh, yeah, we do. We got, we got five more since then. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad for 
what, two little treks on it there? A couple minutes each. That's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the, the results so far. So the real question is, what happens if we do a nice full AFK session? If I could fly again. What happens if we do a nice full AFK session? They're not mad anymore, it doesn't look like. Which is okay by me, because I need to get over here. Y you mad? No? Okay, good. I need to get over here, finish off this side real quick. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. Excuse y'all. Now, I know some will spawn back here. But that's okay. That's no big deal. There's more than enough room for them to spawn. Uh, plenty of other places. Not worried about the, the couple that get back here and spawn. They will despawn outside the ones that are named. What in the world? Let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that. Oh my word. Get out of the way. Man, these guys are stinking annoying. They may be worse than villagers. Or not. They're, they're really not. There we go. Clean up right here. And now we gotta get... What's your name? Bob. Ow. Bob is still mad. Bob is mad, but the rest of them are not. Which is not a good thing. Because I got a feeling if I release Bob... Okay. I was expecting to have a horde of these guys mad at me. Okay. Not a problem. This I can live with. This was... Oh. Beat you to it. Haha, <laughs> Bob. So, now, let's get on to a full AFK session, and uh, we will see you all next time with the, the results, of course. Uh, I don't know how long I'll AFK, but uh, I'm sure we'll do it for a little bit. Get some gold stocked up. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. It does help out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. That way you can keep up to date with all the uh, Minecraft Journal derpiness. And you can also find me on Twitter. Best place to keep in contact with me if you ever need anything or want to ask questions or something. Be sure to tweet me or message me on there. And you can find me streaming on beam.pro forward slash kuya underscore sga. Beam is absolutely amazing. Come on out, hang out with us during a live stream or two. But until next time, guys, have fun, be good, we'll see y'all later. Helps if I hit the end. Hit, 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 hit the pig. Okay, there we go. Bye, guys.